Externalities Externalities are the positive and negative effects on third parties arising from economic transactions. Producers and consumers are the first and second parties in a transaction. In a free market economy, with consumers acting rationally, demand reflects the expectation of private benefits. This generally declines with consumption and, graphically, the demand curve slopes down. If there is no external benefit, then marginal private benefit equals marginal social benefit. In reality, the consumption of many goods creates an external benefit, including merit goods such as education and healthcare. We add the external benefits to the private benefits to discover the social benefits of consumption. Graphically, the addition of external benefits shifts the marginal social benefit curve up On the other hand, a firm's decision to supply is based on expected private costs of production, such as wages and raw materials, which increase with output. If there is no external cost, marginal private costs equal marginal social cost. In reality, the production of many goods creates an external cost, including environmental damage from pollution. Graphically, if we add external costs to private costs, the social cost curve shifts up to the left. The free market is economically inefficient when it ignores externalities. In the case of external costs, the socially efficient quantity is where marginal social benefit equals marginal social cost. At Q1, rather than the market solution at Q, which ignores externalities. Allocating resources based only on private costs and benefits creates a market failure with a welfare loss to society shown as area A, B, C. One solution to reduce external costs is to impose a tax, such as the carbon tax. This would contract demand to the socially efficient level. Other policies include subsidising green technology, finding polluters, or creating a cap-and-trade market. Firms exceeding their cap must purchase permits from the least polluting firms. This adds to their accounting costs, making them less competitive. The price of permits will increase as pollution increases, creating a built-in incentive to reduce pollution. However, several issues arise from intervention, including the problem of information failure regarding the value of the external cost, setting the most appropriate tax, and whether behaviour can be changed by taxation alone. Finally, behavioural economists favour small nudges to alter behaviour, such as requiring producers to label goods more clearly to reveal external costs, so that decision-making by consumers is likely to be more rational. To see more videos, go to www.economicsonline.co.uk.